How's it going lads? It's your boy Brycey here today again and I'm bringing you a 13 and 0 in 4 rounds with the Air 94. This is a real try hard class to be honest with you lads. It's a select fire, red dot sight and stock. A really nice class that I've been using. I haven't been using it much of late but uh, I've been using more KSG executioners trying to get a game for that which thankfully I did. That was my video. Two videos back I believe I'll leave an annotation in the description and on the video. It's one of probably my favourite gameplay I've got. Just because the KSG is probably the hardest gun to get gameplay with, just because it's so inconsistent and you have to be so precise with it. But that was a pretty sick game actually. I don't know why I'm talking about it now, but I get uh, I don't I think I miss one shot but I get a collateral, so technically I get like a kill, you know, one I fire as many shots as I get kills with, which is pretty goddamn friggin' awesome. But yeah, this gameplay is pretty nasty. It's a bit of a choke to be honest with you. Like I go 12 and 0 in three rounds, and then I'm like, yo, let's go 15 and 0, 16 and 0, which really it should have been, but unfortunately I had streaks as well. But unfortunately, as sometimes, oh, it's really frustrating. Teammates just pull the dicks out of the dirt, grow thumbs, and realize the enemy team are fucking useless. But and this, that's what happened in that game, and uh, well, the game you're currently watching. But yeah, it's really nice, and uh, the N94 looks so dirty. In Ronin camo, oh baby, that's some sexy stuff right there. But uh, yeah, this is uh, uploading daily is a bit of a grind. I've just I kind of forgot I had a driving lesson, so <laughs> I like got back. I was like shit. I was eating my dinner when uh, when my instructor came, and so that was kind of a surprise because I was like just planning on doing the commentary then. But uh, obviously I was driving my Claire around, doing some street racing as you do in your driving lessons. I'm just kidding, I was just doing some reversing. Had a couple of mares, not gonna lie. Reversing is not my strong point. But I should be alright. I mean, I'm not a woman. Obviously women drivers are pretty diabolical. But I should be should be going gravy. And what I'm going to talk about this gameplay is playing competitively after I've blabbed on for two minutes. But playing competitively, like... Now, one thing I really do not do is kind of play competitively. Like, I always try and win, but I always kind of set myself at a disadvantage and kind of handicap myself with the weapons I pick. Like, I rarely, rarely ever pick a strong weapon as my kind of, in the first round. It kind of grinds my gears when people do. Like, uh, you'll go into a lobby against some French sweaty fucks, and they'll all select the MSMC, MA, or Foul, or something, you know, uber tryhardy right off the bat and I'm there just with my KSG and my execution of just like how the hell am I going to compete with this and then you know it gets to 3-0 down I'm like shit I've got to pull something out of my ass here and normally I can c pull a couple of rounds back but it's, it's often hard and when you've got that much kind of you've left it so fine that one real slip and uh, that's a mistake and last night I got a really insane gameplay that I'll be bringing to you lads shortly it's a 21 of 4, I bet you're like, oh, that's gone, it's not very good. But I was actually going 2 and 3, um, going, and then we were 3 rounds down, and then I pull out of my ass, go 19 and 1 in 4 rounds for the comeback. I pray, I play really defensively, to be honest with you. I mean, we were on offense on hijacked, and the enemy team were rushing the shit out of my team. But I just kind of played it back in the first, you know, when it was 03, I got a 1. Uh, 1v6 clutch, which was pretty goddamn awesome, although I pretty much just stayed in one building the whole time, they all just rushed me, I could hear them, like, I think they've changed something with Black Ops 2's hearing, or the sound system on it, because I never use Dead Sounds Awareness, and honestly, it really aggravates me when I run into people like that, because I know some of my friends use it interestingly, and that, that's fine, obviously, because they want to do what they want to do, I'm unlikely to be ever playing against them, so, more the power to, if it helps them get in the gameplays, whatever, just use... You know, I've I've used it a couple of times. It's kind of like sit rap, but just toned down a lot. But it just grinds my gears when people do that because you see them, they're like, "Wow, they're really going to be try harding." They, you know, no one. I don't think I've ever seen someone use Dead Hands Awareness and then use like a Tar Twenty One, for example. They like all use an M8 foul. I never really see MSMC used with Dead Hands Awareness because it doesn't complement it that much. But often, more often than not, you run into people with Dead Sense Awareness M8, and that, that kind of frustrates me because, you know, they're going to be head glitching all these little boxes, and you're trying to be running around shotgunning. But sometimes they're just bad, so that, that can sometimes work out. So uh, I think the gameplay is wrapping up now, lads. I'm not really sure. I may have talked over it. Now, what can you do? I'm not watching it now. 
But I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for more daily uploads. And if you missed yesterday's video, it was a 17 and 1 with the 5 7 akimbo on carrier of all maps. I know the thug life did choose me. But I hope you enjoyed the video, lads. And. <laughs>